calling the require function, passing over the string mongoose, we get the mongoose module available. Over here, calling the connect function on the mongoose object, passing over this connection string, we get a connection. In this code sample, we connect a MongoDB database that we have on the same computer on which this code is running. So, localhost is the server name we should use. In this code sample, we access the test database, so we specify test. Referring the connection property, we get a reference for an object that represents the connection. Calling the on function on the connection object, the object that represents the connection, passing over the string error and a function, we will get this function executed if error happens. Calling the once function on the object that represents the connection with the MongoDB database, passing over the string opened and a function we will get that function executed once the connection is open. So most of the code will be placed over here within this function. As you can see in this code sample, once the connection is open, we first create a schema. Using Mongoose, we should decide on a schema we want to use kind of a structure that all documents should follow. In this code sample, the schema includes two properties, ID and name. We can refer the methods property, the schema object as, in order to add new functions. New functions, functions we would like to be available for uh, calling on those objects Mongoose um, provides us with. When uh, using Mongoose, uh, each document will be available as an object. Over here you can see that we create a method named print details that we will later be able to call on each and every object we work with when using Mongoose. Objects that each and every one of them uh, is represented using a document on the MongoDB database. So in this code sample, I want a simple function that we will be able to invoke. Its name will be print details on each and every object we work with when using Mongoose. Here, we create an object that we can uh, treat as kind of a constructor, a constructor for um, creating objects that we want Mongoose to connect with a specific documents on the MongoDB database. In order to get this uh, kind of a constructor, we need to invoke the model function on the Mongoose object, pass over the name of the collection in the database we are using, the name of the collection in which we will find the documents for each and every object we work with by creating them using the product kind of constructor. So calling the model function on the mongoose object returns reference for an object, an object which is um, actually kind of a constructor we can later invoke in order to create new objects, objects that each and every one of them is represented using a document in our store products collection. The second argument should be the schema object, the reference for the schema object that represents the properties each and every object we create using the product con constructor should have. So over here I create two objects using the kind of a constructor, product constructor, and on each and every object I can invoke functions such as save. So over here I create a new object on which here I invoke save. Save, when calling the save function on an object we created using the 
a product constructor in this code sample, we get um, a document on the MongoDB database that includes the same uh, key value pairs the object, the Carpeta object in this code sample has. If error happens, then uh, this code will be executed. If everything is okay, then this is the code that will be executed. And in this code sample, we will get print details invoked on our uh, Carpeta object. So we could see on screen the details of uh, the new created object that is now stored on the MongoDB database as a document. We do the same with the other uh, object we created, the tabola one. And let's execute this code sample. Let's execute. And as you can see, according to the output, uh, we got the two objects created and uh, added to the database. Now let's take these comment out. Let's put a comment over here. Now, uh, I invoke the find function on that object that we treat as a constructor, passing over a function that will be executed when the result arrive. If an error happens, then we will get it printed to the screen. Otherwise, I print to the screen the object, which is actually the data calling the find function if you know the MongoDB um, API actually query the collection, in this case the collection that product kind of constructor um, match is map with, so we shall get all products. Let's take a look how does it work. As you can see the two products are printed to the screen.